Hello, welcome, thank you for clicking on this video. This video is my September favourites. If you didn't guess from reading the title of the video, I am just gonna get straight into it. And we'll start at the top of my head, so we'll start with hair. I had run out of a shampoo and conditioner that I was using. I'd used actually for quite a while. And I decided that I wanted to try something new. It's always good to change up your hair products every so often, just because, I don't know if this is true, but this is what I've heard, that your hair can get used to a certain product and it stops having an effect on it. So I went for the Say Yes to Cucumber Shampoo Conditioner. They do quite a lot of these. Well, I first heard of the Say Yes brand on a lot of American videos, so I wasn't sure whether we could get it in the UK. And then within the last year, two years, I started seeing it in Boots, maybe longer than that. I don't know, but that's when I started noticing it myself. Um, so I decided to pick up the shampoo and conditioner. I got the Say Yes to Cucumber one because it's for normal to fine hair. It's a volumizing one. We all know, especially if you've been watching my videos for a while, I have quite thin hair. I suffer with thin hair. I'm constantly on a battle to try and get more body into my hair if you have any advice please leave it down below any advice is welcome so yeah i picked this one up and also i picked it up because it has aloe vera in it does it is that a lie the conditioner has aloe vera in it i swear it does yeah the conditioner has aloe vera in it and it's the which is supposed to like soothe and moisturize and i suffer sometimes from quite a dry itchy scalp so i thought that would be really good and then the shampoo has green tea in it which again works with the calming and like if you suffer from an irritable um, scalp or sensitive skin um, green tea is supposed to be really really good for you so this is really good if you have quite sensitive like a sensitive scalp and on the volumizing side of things I have seen a noticeable difference in not so much like the texture of my hair but it lifts my hair I think because it's quite lightweight and there's nothing in it that is bad for your skin, for your hair or anything like that it doesn't weigh it down it keeps it quite light um, not light so it goes frizzy or anything like that but light so it doesn't like pull pull it down from your head so I've really been liking this the only thing I would say is if you suffer from tangly hair or knotty hair after you've washed it the conditioner isn't great for once you've washed your hair then brushing it when it's wet it leaves it really soft once it's dry but if you suffer from tangly hair when it's wet I would get a leave-in conditioner to then spray in afterwards to help you brush it out and style it or whatever while it's wet. But yeah, apart from that, really loving the Say Yes to Cucumber. Onto a skincare product. I suffer from quite dry skin on my face, especially around my nose area and my chin and on my forehead. So I wanted to get a face mask and I'm not gonna lie I'm very lazy when it comes to skincare I really should have a better skincare routine I know I wouldn't suffer as bad as I do if I had a skincare routine but I don't because I'm a lazy person but that's when I found this face mask and it's the Garnier skin active moisture bomb tissue mask and it smells like pomegranates and it's amazing and I really like it apart from it smelling really nice I really enjoyed this mask it feels really weird like I'm not gonna lie I didn't really like the texture of it I don't like the feeling of wet clothes or like if kitchen roll gets wet I hate that feeling and this kind of feels like wet tissue um, so I didn't really like the feel of it like in my hands when I was putting it on but once it's on it's so relaxing you kind of just want to like rub your fingers like around your face all the time it just feels really nice and soft and um, but I actually wore this mask in the evening while I washed my hair which was quite a big plus for me because as I said I'm very lazy I don't really have a lot of time when I get in from work to do much which is another reason why I don't really have a skincare routine so it was really useful to be able to wear this mask while I washed my hair and like faffed about in the shower it says leave it on for 50 minutes I actually left it on for like half an hour because I got distracted <laughs> Uh, which doesn't take much to be honest but it left my skin feeling so nice I really want to get some more of these masks and use them like once a week and make it like a thing purely because it's so easy to use it really helped with around my nose my skin itself just felt like plumper and softer and just full of moisture which is the aim for this face mask I'm guessing seeing as it's a moisture bomb and another thing I have a really small face and this wasn't too big for my face that is also a massive plus so if you're like me and you have a pea head and you find it really hard to find face masks like this that actually fit your face try this one it fits to your face if you're like me I finished a foundation didn't really want to fork out to replace it because again it's quite expensive so I wanted to find a cheap one also 
because I am waiting to purchase the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and I didn't want, to, we're getting a Charlotte Tilbury in Cambridge by the way if you didn't know that, that's why I'm waiting. So I wanted to get one to last me until I could afford to get that foundation and I wanted one that was slightly more full of coverage throughout the summer I was wearing the L'Oreal Cushion foundation which is very light coverage, almost like the coverage of like a tinted moisturiser, it was for me anyway. So I wanted something a bit more high coverage so I picked up, whoo, I picked up the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour full coverage foundation and I've got it in the colour 10 which is light porcelain which is the lightest colour obviously and this is quite a new one for this month actually I've only been using it for like a week I really like it I like the coverage it's not too thick but you get the coverage and you can build the coverage so you can put a thinner layer on if you want to and then you can build from that because as much as I wanted a full coverage I hate thick foundations where you can feel it on your skin and you can't feel this on your skin once it's on, it's really nice, it kind of seeps into your skin. I think there's a serum in this, yeah, with a comfort serum, whatever that means. But it says it lasts all day through sweat and heat, humidity and is transfer proof so you don't get it on your skin, which is great because I wear a lot of black clothes, I have to wear black to work, so. And I used to find with some other foundations, if I was to like touch my face and then touch my skin, it would get covered in makeup and that's not a great look. But this hasn't done that. Yeah, I just really, really like it. I would recommend this foundation to the paler skin community like myself, <laughs> us pasties. Really good colour match for myself. What else can I say about this foundation? It smells really nice actually. I find that really weird that a foundation smells nice, but I actually quite like the smell of this foundation. Like in the morning when I put it on, I'm finding myself like breathing in <laughs> when I'm putting it on. Okie dokie, on to lips. Now as it's now autumn, I have yet again started wearing a nice red lip. So I love red lipsticks. I love bright red, I love dark red. I just love red lips in general. And this time I started wearing the Lord and Berry, which is like a lip crayon. And I, it's a very orangey, yeah, it's a very orange, bright, like true red. And I sometimes find these to either be really drying or to be a complete and utter mess to put on or so easy to smudge or yeah just really really hard to use this is so easy to use I feel like this has been in a favourites before it may have been but that's how much I like it I have been living in it I really really like it it's so easy to use it's faff free it's almost like it almost works like a lip stain you put it on and it just doesn't budge nothing gets rid of it <laughs> Uh, which is obviously really good for a red lipstick. And because it's in like a crayon pencil form, it's really precise. You don't need to use a lip liner with it, or I found I don't need to use a lip liner with it anyway, which again, kind of helps with the keeping it a bit fat free. You don't really have to carry a lot around with you. It's really small, you can just chuck it in your bag and carry it around with you, and I just really like it. I really like the colour, everything about this lip crayon. And it's cool, it's in the colour Kiss, by the way, if you're wondering. Lord and Berry Kiss. I need to work out where to get these from. Um, I need to see if they've got... Oh, they have a website, it's actually on the crayon. Right, okay. Well done, Cara. Carrying on with the lip idea, I have been really enjoying the MAC Lip Pencil in Brick. It's a dark red. Let's see if I can swatch it so you can see. There you go. It's like a dark red, but it works underneath most red toned lipsticks. It's not so dark that you can only wear it under like plum sort of colours, but it's not so orangey red that you can only wear it under orange red lipsticks. I'm so bad at explaining this, but I'm hoping you're kind of understanding what I mean. So I've been using this under um, a NARS lipstick that I've got. I've used it under Ruby Woo. I've used it under... Now I can't think of what any of my lipsticks are called. But a lot of the red lipsticks that I wear, I wear brick underneath it. Also, I quite like sometimes when you've got a slight colour difference from your lip liner to your lipstick. I think sometimes that can look quite good. It makes your lips look, makes my lips look fuller and just, for me, nicer. Not like really badly obvious difference, but a slight difference for me kind of makes my lips just look a little bit fuller, which I really like. And those are the things that I have been loving throughout September. They have been on top of my list. They are the things that I've been reaching for and the things that I want to repurchase. Um, let me know down in the comments what has been your most favourite item ever that you've used throughout September, whether it be skincare, hair care, makeup, anything. Let me know. <gasps> also, got my black nails back, haven't I? This makes me really happy. This is probably one of my favourite things ever about autumn and October and Halloween and everything and having black nails. I just, there's something about black nails that I really like. Don't know what it is. 
but I really like it. Anyway, I am going to go. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, and I am doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. I've already purchased a little treat for you, or whoever wins, from the Cath Kids and Winnie the Pooh collection, and I'm going to be adding in another little treat to it as well, which I'm not going to tell you about. You'll have to wait till I hit a thousand, and I'll let you know what it is. So yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye!